Hi, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for Beat TV at the Nappy LA TV Fest. I'm here with Kurt Marvis, who is the president of digital at Lionsgate. So what does that mean? What are you in charge of? What is Lionsgate doing in digital? Well, basically, uh, I have three areas that I work on. Do you want me to look at you or yeah, look, look at the no, camera? Look at me. Look okay. At me. Um, there's basically three things that I that I work on. One is selling more of our packaged media product uh, through digital channels. So that includes iTunes, Amazon, Cinema Now, my alma mater, uh, and increasingly, we're also starting to sell uh, show a lot of product on Hulu, uh, YouTube, etc., on an ad-supported basis. So that's you know a big piece of what we're doing is trying to generate revenue through digital distribution channels. I also deal with a lot of our investment uh, properties, which include uh, Fearnet, uh, TV Guide Network, tvguide.com, break.com, uh, Epics, our new movie service, et cetera. And then a pro, uh, sort of apropos to what goes on at this particular festival, I'm also involved in developing new projects and properties around digital media, mobile exhibition, uh, new web, you know, webisodic series that we might be able to develop into television shows, et cetera, et cetera. What are some of the things, can you elaborate on some of the things that you're working on in that area? Or are they all under wraps and secret? Everything is top secret. No, the. Uh, um, well, one of the shows that we're working on right now is called Instantly Rich, which is a television uh, sort of half game show, half reality show that's really based upon uh, the text messaging, world of text messaging, not so much Twitter specifically, but uh, the, whole, the whole program, the, the way you enter the show is through text messaging, the way you participate in the show is through text, and it's really trying to leverage the phenomenon of everybody on the planet texting constantly now to be able to generate both the business model behind it as well as the way that the program itself works. So that's pretty exciting. So it, it, as you're developing that, how much are you looking at American Idol? Because that's obviously the show that has really become known in part because viewers can vote via yeah. text messaging. Well, American Idol, you know, has been hugely successful in terms of the audience participation of people voting after the fact. The difference between, it's really taking that concept and then sort of supercharging it and saying, let's not just make it a piece of the program where it involves what happens at the end of the show, let's make it part of the program both from the very beginning and, and, and integral to the way the show itself works, and that's what we're doing. So without going into the whole description of how the show works, it's basically uh, every week someone wins a million dollars, and the way you become eligible to do that, the way you participate in making that happen, and the way you win the million dollars all involves text messaging. And now when will this show launch, and is it a digital first show, or will it be across all platforms? No, it, it launches as soon as we make a sale to a network, which uh, I'm actually pitching to a network that will hopefully say yes uh, Thursday of this week. So. Oh, well, good luck. That tomorrow? That's tomorrow. That would be tomorrow. And now, do you envision this as a multi-platform show? Yeah, absolutely. It's multi-platform by definition. So it, it's, it, it involves mobile. There's a whole web component to it that's very much a part of the show. It sort of, um, I mean, it has elements of Big Brother in terms of how much the web is involved in the, in the sort of, uh, it's not just about the airing of the show when it goes on broadcast. It's also about the daily updates of what's happening within the show. And then obviously on mobile, if, you, if, you've, read, if you've gone in and registered, you get mobile updates to your phone. So it's very, very interactive in terms of the way the show works through the duration of the week until the final winner is announced. It's a, it's a, it, the show airs twice a week. Once is getting up to gear to show here are the contestants, and then they have a week to go through and get as many votes as they can using uh, online, Twitter, text messaging, Facebook, social networks, et cetera, to gather those votes. Now, I've traditionally thought of Lionsgate as a movie studio, but obviously you've pointed out the other properties that you're invested in, Epics, which is a movie channel, Fearnet, of course, that's a website with horror movies. How is the digital business shaping up from a revenue perspective? Are, are you making money? Are you profitable? Are you close to that for the digital side? Well, it's interesting you think of us as, as a movie studio because we also produce Weeds, which is one of the most successful series in the history of Showtime. We produce Nurse Jackie, which is a hugely successful show. We produce Mad Men, which is... Oh, yeah, that's a popular show. Which basically is made AMC TV. Well, that's at least what we feel. Um, uh, and, and a number of other shows. We produce a lot of stuff for VH1. Paris Hilton's My BFF, which I'm sure you watched religiously. See, um, now you're just proving I know nothing. No, 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 I'm just proving. <laughs> well, so no, you're too busy online to watch television is what, I'm, what we're proving here. But um, uh, it digitally, uh, yeah, our digital business in terms of what we're doing via iTunes, et cetera, is hugely profitable to the company. It's still small in terms of its revenue contribution, but our margin of that on that business is 
ridiculous. I mean, it's a 95% margin business for us. So, now, are you, when you say it's profitable, do you just mean iTunes or do you mean all of digital, including all, like Fearnet? Yeah, all of di all of digital for us is profitable right now. Um, the, the the key is is that we run it lean and mean, and it's a very small contributor to the you know Lionsgate will do a one and a half billion dollars of revenue this year and digital will be a you know very small portion of that relatively speaking but you know our growth is is enormous and in terms of a digital as a priority within the company it, it, it's huge I mean we you know I report to the CEO of the company so it's that important in terms of what's going on with that business. Kurt good luck with your pitch and I hope to see the show soon.